Dr. Thomas Orr arrived at the KU Medical Center in the second decade of the 20th century, joining his fellow Johns Hopkins graduates, Harry Wall and Ralph Major. He began in the pathology department, but moved to surgery after only one year. He became chair in 1929. Dr. Tom Orr here at the University of Kansas knew I was looking and asked me if I'd be interested, and I said, yes, I'd be very interested. At, and I accepted his training program and started here in 1940. I had a fine training with Tom Moore. I thought he was as fine a gentleman as I knew. He was a great surgeon, he had superb judgment, and he had an academic standing that was of very high quality. And I emulated him and wanted very much to try to have such a career as he'd had as an academic surgeon. It was true that Tom Orr was the founder, one of the founder members of the American Board of Surgery. He already had a national reputation. Later on, he became president of the American Surgical Association, and he was one I really could respect. Mm -hmm. And I read his work, and he gave me his reprints, and those kind of things stimulate a student, I think, to follow in that, that uh, role. Dr. Orr published Operations in General Surgery in 1944, which became a standard text for two decades. I mean, it was a, quite a famous book, Operations in General Surgery. Dr. Orr was thought to be a very aloof, uh, distant person, very authoritarian, and to some extent I think he was, but nonetheless he was a very nationally and internationally recognized surgeon. And we got along pretty well. On our, uh, I recall when we would do an operation, radical mastectomies were a very frequent operation at that time. And Orr was real keen on the resident and everybody else knowing the anatomy involved. Well, we would do a radical mastectomy and he'd say, what is this muscle of oh, pectoralis major? And okay, where does it originate? Where does it insert? Well, it originates from the ribs here in the middle and the inserts on the humerus. Okay, now what's this next muscle? That was a pectoralis minor, and where does it originate and insert? And what is its nerve supply? Well, the anterior thoracic nerves. Where's the blood supply? Where is it? And he'd go through each of the structures minutely, and God help you if you didn't know them. Three or four of the very nervous people, as you can imagine, when you're taking your boards. You're very nervous, and they were standing there in front of the elevator, and one of them said, do you think that old bastard's going to be here today with a skeleton asking us questions? And there was a little discussion about that. And then the elevator got up to the floor it was to where it stopped. These guys got off the elevator, and just as they walked off, there was this deep voice from the back of the elevator that said, yes, gentlemen, that old bastard's here, and I'll see you later. Dr. Orr performed a pancreatoduodenectomy soon after Whipple. Dr. Orr was one of the founders of the American Board of Surgery and president of the American Surgical Association and the Southwest Surgical Congress. Thomas Orr published his prominent surgical textbook in the 1940s, but his first book was about the amputation methods he learned in World War I. He dedicated the book to Dr. C.B. Francisco, a well-known orthopedic surgeon and KU faculty member. Dr. Orr also asked for the opinion of surgeon and renowned author Arthur Hertzler, founder of the Halstead Clinic. Dr. Orr retired in 1944 after 19 years as chairman.